Let's talk about the Oz, uh, the great and powerful. Yeah, yeah. You, uh, you're great in this movie, Thank and you, you. play. Uh, it, it's fascinating because you play Finley. Yeah. A flying. Uh, a flying monkey. Flying monkey. Yeah. And um, I didn't know what to say. Ape, but he's he's a monkey. He's a monkey. Yeah. yeah. There's scary baboons, but Finley is the cute, adorable little monkey sidekick to James Franco's character. And what's what's great, I was telling you this backstage, is your personality really comes through. Obviously, there's a lot of like CGI involved and yeah. everything, but but you uh, you get to be funny. Uh, your way as Zach Braff, and you were really cracking me up in the movie. That was so, thank you so much. And that was what was so fun about it is, you know, I've never been in a big blockbuster movie, CGI movie like this with all these effects, but Sam Raimi, our director, really let me improv and bring my own humor to it. And so a lot of those jokes that I made up with James Franco ended up in the movie and it was, it was awesome. That's fantastic. Now, was it difficult for you to, to shoot this? Because people have been asking me this all week. You know, you, the movie, the movie yeah. was such a hit across Earth. All, all the questions people are asking are like, how was this done? Because I wasn't just in an audio booth. And I thought, you know, since I was coming on your show, I could really explain to people how it was done because I was actually on set uh, acting with James. And so I came prepared, if you don't mind. Not at all. Tell okay, us how can this I works. stand up? Too yeah, much? sure, go ahead. Okay, I'm going to show the audience how it was done. <laughs> Okay, now that's not... Now, basically, Conan, this is what I wore on set at all times. And apparently you have continued to wear it all the time. <laughs> Well, I'm feeling, You've been wearing this for I'm feeling seven so, months. I'm it's, feeling so happy that the movie did well that I've decided to put it back on. Very nice. Now, if your director could do me a little solid and, and, um, and do a little magic, you'll see yeah. um, that basically... <laughs> <laughs> this is... You know, I love the idea that... <laughs> this is... Right now, I can just picture my mom tuning in. My mom tuning in right now and not knowing what's happening. <laughs> your mom what's like, going on? So basically, I floated around the set like this, and then the animators would, they videotaped my face, and they took all my facial gestures and expressions, and, uh, and then just animated the little guy over me. That's fantastic. <laughs> you know what? That's fantastic. Sorry. That I, looks hilarious. Sorry. I want to, uh, I feel like this is how, Andy, no! Uh, <laughs> I ruined it. We did a thing on Scrubs too, Carl. Called... <laughs> oh, wait. Uh... <laughs> well, that's starting to look okay, pornographic. It's starting weird now. I don't know what's happening. I don't know why I went down that way. <laughs> <laughs> this is the talk show of the future now. No. This is how all talk shows will be well, in the you future. Know, if you ever interview one, like, like if cryogenic heads ever come on your show, oh, this they is will how. Be. This yeah. is, and you know, you always used to do that bit in the year two. Yeah. Like, it was a thousand. Yeah. 2000, yeah. yeah. Well, th in the future, it'll be like this. Like you'll have like people who are long dead, but their heads are still coming on your show. Yeah. <laughs> and they're promoting projects that haven't been around for 40 years. <laughs> Uh, I love this. Well, we have a clip here from Oz the Great and Powerful. Okay. Uh, disembodied head. Anything yes. we need to know about well, the scene? You, you I think can bring is... back my body if your director wouldn't mind. I'm feeling a little bit... Yeah, I like this, actually. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I believe this is a it's scene... It's kind of sexy, right? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, I was covering it up in case I had a moose knuckle. Um... <laughs> I'm promoting a family movie here. I for know. God's I'm gonna sake. say, I'm isn't sorry. this a Disney movie? I'm gonna get yelled at. Isn't yes. this a Disney movie? You're not allowed yes. to say Moose Knuckle when you're talking about I a know. Disney movie. Right now, the Disney people are backstage. <laughs> Destroy him! Yeah. <laughs> he has displeased us. He's no longer an. Oh, he's no longer an open member of the Disney community. Yeah. Someone, so, someone he showed Disney, his package. Someone at Disney definitely is concerned about me saying Moose Knuckle. Um, <laughs> so the clip. I'm actually, saying it twice. Uh, the clip is um, is uh, me and James, and you, so you'll get the sense now that you see it. I was crawling along next to him as we did this scene live. Let's take a look. We're gonna find this wicked witch, steal her wand. I'll get that big pile of gold, and you can have a nice pile of bananas. All right. Bananas. Oh, I see. Because I'm a monkey, I must love bananas, right? That is a vicious stereotype. You like bananas? Of course I love bananas. I'm a monkey. Don't be ridiculous. I don't like to say. 